Oh. Skal vi tørse det? Oh. Yeah! <laughs> Hello, I'm Jen. My name's Rachel. Welcome to our channel. We are whiskey geeks. Not whiskey snobs. So if you like all things whiskey. And you're not a snob. Subscribe! subscribe. What are we trying today? We are trying a lovely gift that was sent to us, can you believe, which was so nice. Another whole box. A whole box. so generous. I know. So this uh, couple who are absolutely lovely popped into the shop and they watched the channel and we didn't get a proper or much of a chat to them because it was quite busy, but they sent mm. us some whiskey after, huh. which is so nice. So this is an American whiskey. I have heard of this, but I've never tried it. 100 proof. I've never, I don't think I have. They said it's a good mm. one to start off because we were looking for American whiskey. Ah. Uh, suggestions. And this is quite a cool bottle. It's quite a historic bottle, mm -hmm. or the company's quite historic. Oh. So Uncle Nearest, I need to learn a bit more about the history of this in America, but Uncle Nearest was a endearing term for a man called Nathan Green, who was a slave. Oh, I thought you meant for uh, any man. Just, no, 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 not for any slave. <laughs> for one no. particular for man. For one particular right, man right, right. called Nathan Green, who is very well known or no, he's not very well known. He should be very well known because he came up with the method of charcoal maple filtering that's used oh, now. Oh, like um, Jack Daniels? Yes, yes. And apparently Jack Daniels, whose actual name was Jasper Daniels, or his first name, his first name, oh. he was trained on an, uh, an apprentice of Nathan Green, I think. So Uncle Nearest trained... Jack Daniels. Yes, I think. And Jack Daniels is now like one of the world's top selling whiskies. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, so he Nathan was... Daniels doesn't like feel like we should know him better than Nathan Green. Jack Daniels. Yeah. Emerging See? Their names. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know him enough. And partly I presume that was because he was I think he was free by the time he died, but he was a slave. Right. Ah, so that's why he's not known, yep, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. So a nature of black history and such so, and such. So So this one is the in Maple Char maple charcoal filtered. Yes. Oh. Which is very cool. Oh. I don't know other that that I think that's quite common, but I don't know how many others are. Uh, the only one I know is oh. Jack Daniels, to be honest. Oh, that smells so good. That smells so sweet. Mm. Fifty percent as well. Hundred proof. More common in Tennessee, isn't it, for the charcoal? Well, the only one I knew is Jack Daniels, mm. and it's not classed as a bourbon. No. No, it's. But I don't know if some bourbons do charcoal filter. I thought that they didn't and I thought if they did then they were like a Tennessee sour mash or something. You could tell us oh, yeah, yeah. in the comments. Because this is... So oh, this it's got a real freshness to it as well, like a kind of pininess. Yeah, that this is not, this doesn't say it's bourbon or rye, this is premium ah, whiskey. Ah, okay. Whiskey. So we don't know the mash bill on this or anything then? No. Or I'm going from the them. smell, I'm guessing corn, a lot of corn. Sweet. It's really sweet. Uh, it's yeah. got a kind of eucalyptus -y Oh, quite fresh. Men not as much as menthol, fresher than not minty. Not minty, but, but fresh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like a plant fresh. Like a cold green, little bit pandan -y. Oh, yeah, a little mm. bit pandan -y. Really sweet, really maple. Quite oh, oily. Yeah. Quite oily thick. smelling. Mm. It's quite strong, though, isn't it? 50%. So. Yeah, yeah. Should oh, we taste? Love that. Slange. Slange. Or what did we say? Cheers. Cheers. Howdy. Howdy. <laughs> Spit it out. Sorry to do it again. What should we, what should we say? Um, Yeehaw! Yeehaw! <laughs> mm. That is like dessert. That is so sweet. Mm. That is so lovely. Mm. Oh. Oh, that's really nice. Like, caramelised peaches. Mm, there's a pineapple bit. And like, yeah, like syrup. Um, mm. Roasted pineapple, mm. demerara sugar. It is. I have a, a bit of an obsession at the moment for corn nuts. Yeah, and it's a wee bit like that. As yeah, well. yeah, yeah, yeah. But without imagine. the salt, that would go really well mm. with that corn nut. It's not got the the saltiness. I really like that. More like a sweet corn nut. Mm. It's got a mm. rich melony flavour. Mm. Mm. <laughs> There's melony again. <laughs> no. It does make me think of um, Christmas tree. Uh, like not on the taste, but on the finish when you breathe back out, pine pine needles. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm. Almost the actually more like pine needles. Not so much of the Christmas tree in the house, but pine needles on the forest floor. 
Mm-hmm. You're in a forest. Yeah, yeah. In a pine forest. Mm. Nom, nom, nom. I get the freshness. The Chris, I don't get like the Christmas spicy bits. No, it's not Christmas. It's just really? the tree. Just really the, the just tree. The yeah. yeah. Oh, I really, I mm. really, really, really love that. I think that's so sweet and syrupy mm. and delicious. Syrupy. A wee bit woody as well. Mm-hmm. I suppose that's the pine needles. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like, like tree sap, like pine tree mm. sap. Tropical. Mm. I really, I really am. That's lovely. Going back again, and that's lovely. Mm. We maple as well, I feel like. Did we try water? I didn't, I drank all Oh, do you want to try? Oops. <laughs> do you want any more? No, I'm okay, thank you. That, that's really delicious if I've not said it already about five times. Mm-hmm. Oh. Like you sitting Shaky with the bottle hands. open for <laughs> I'm not putting the top back on till I'm. Um, what, even fresher with water? Yes, fresher again. Oh, we kind of cola note. Oh, yeah, yeah, like cola cubes, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cola bottles. Or that. Did you ever have stivvies? It was like no. a cola liqueur thing. No. Or it was a. Yeah. It was a drink that tasted like cola cubes. Mm. It's warmer now as well, with the water. Mm-hmm. Much warmer. Mm. It's lost the... Oh no, the piney bit's still there in the finish. Oh, I love that. That's it's got much warmer and cola cubes, definitely cola, cola cubes. cubes. And like a juicy flavour to it now. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's something that I can't quite... Like lime rind. It's like limeade. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. It's like yeah. limeade. And the the... The, the kind of yeah like the I want to say like the spiciness of the lime peel but not like the kind of it's almost fizzy the zzz 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 of the lime yeah, peel yeah yeah like the zinginess the, the the vibration yeah the same what do you call vibrations the same wavelength yes it's the same wavelength as, as a lime limeade. peel limeade yep um, and so <laughs> I was told this by an American man the other day he was in the shop that I was doing a whiskey tasting for him. That's a lie, he's, act- he's actually Romanian but he stays in America. Mm. And he said, do you know why you call it a shot of whiskey? Well, something to do with guns if it's America. Yes. Well, to which I said I don't. And it took us a while, he did the exact same with his tour guide. He's like, do you know why you call it a shot of whiskey? And he's like, I don't. And he's like, oh, I'm just trying to give you a fact of information. And we're like, we would never call it a shot, though. That's not what we call no, it here. But anyway, no. so why do you call it a shot of whiskey? It's because if you didn't have enough money to buy a drink, then a shot costs the same amount as a bullet. So you just ah. give them a bullet, apparently. That might be rubbish, And I'll have a shot. There you go. So you just oh, I like it, whether it's true or not, I like it. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't yeah. know. That's what was... Saves the bullet being used, hopefully. That thank- was lovely. Yeah, thank you very much for letting us try that. Yes, and now we've opened it, we can give you samples. Yes. So if you pop in from the YouTubes, you can get mm-hmm. a wee sample. Thank you very much for joining. We hope you enjoyed. Subscribe down here for more like this and join us again next time. Slange. Slange. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. And you can follow us on social media at The Grail Tastings. See you next time, Slange. Welcome to our channel. We are whiskey geeks. Not whiskey snobs. (laughs) (laughs) (coughs) Not Not whiskey snobs. No, it's not happy today. Oh dear. Name's Rachel. Welcome to our channel. We are whiskey geeks. Not whiskey. (laughs) Not whiskey snobs.